When the time comes to harvest your rice crop, it is important to choose a suitable method to maximize your grain yield and minimize losses. There are several ways to harvest your grain, and this video will introduce the different harvesting systems. We will also show you how to determine the best time to harvest so you can prevent crop loss. So what is harvesting? Harvesting is the process of collecting the mature rice crop from the field. Harvesting consists of different harvesting operations such as cutting, threshing, cleaning, hauling, and bagging. If a thresher is not immediately available after cutting, you might need to fill dry, stock, or pile your grain as a temporary measure. The goal of good harvesting is to maximize grain yield and minimize any grain losses and quality deterioration. Harvesting can be done manually using sickles or knives and by beating the cut crop on a threshing frame. Or it can be harvested mechanically with the use of rippers, threshers, or combine harvesters. Regardless of the method you choose, several guidelines should be followed to ensure that harvest losses are kept to a minimum and grain quality is preserved during harvest operations. There are four harvesting systems that we will show you. Manual systems, manual harvesting with machine threshing, machine reaping with machine threshing, and combine harvesting. First, let's explore manual harvesting. Grain is cut by hand, then hold to the threshing location. This method includes the use of traditional tools for threshing, such as racks, simple treadle threshers, or animals for trampling. Manual harvesting can be combined with machine threshing. Again, Grain is manually harvested, but depending on the system you choose, cleaning can be done by a separate cleaner, a thresher equipped with a cleaner, or by hand. Machine harvesting and machine threshing involves cutting and laying the crop on a windrow using a reaper. A thresher is used for threshing, and cleaning is either done manually or by machine. In this system, the crop needs to be hauled manually and brought to the threshing location. For combine harvesting, a combine harvester includes all operations, cutting, handling, threshing, and cleaning. A combine harvester is most efficient and results in the lowest losses, but it is expensive and requires larger field sizes. Now that we have discovered what harvesting systems are available, let's find out the appropriate time to harvest. It is important to know when to harvest since correct timing of harvest is crucial in preventing crop losses. Grain losses may occur from rat or bird damage, crop lodging, insect attacks, and shattering. Timely harvesting ensures good grain quality and high market value. Harvesting too early will result in a larger percentage of unfilled or immature grains, which will result in a lower yield and in higher grain breakage during milling. Harvesting too late leads to excessive shattering losses and increased breakage in rice grains. Timing of harvesting also affects the germination potential of rice seed. There are different methods you can use to determine the correct time to harvest your rice crop. You can test the moisture content of the grain. Ideally, the moisture content of the grain should be between 20 to 25 percent wet basis for harvesting. Grains should be firm but not brittle when squeezed between the teeth. Inspect the color of the grain. The crop should be cut when 80 to 85 percent of the grains are a straw yellow color. When using these methods, 
make sure you take averages of the whole field for greater accuracy. You may decide to count the number of days after sowing. Generally, the ideal harvest time lies between 130 to 136 days after sowing for late, 113 to 125 for medium, and 110 days for early maturing varieties. You may also count the number of days after heading. Heading is marked by the appearance of the panicle tip from the flag lip sheath. In dry season harvest, the optimum time to harvest is 28 to 35 days after heading. In wet season harvest, the optimum time is 32 to 38 days after heading. Harvesting also needs to be timed so that threshing can be done as soon as possible after cutting to avoid re-wetting and reduce grain breakage. If the crop has a lot of surface moisture, which may be from previous rainfall or from the early morning dew, it is advisable to wait for the surface moisture to dry off before cutting the crop. Those are the basics of harvesting systems and the methods to determine ideal harvesting times. Remember, the goal of good harvesting is to maximize your yield, so make sure to harvest at the right time.